Hello and welcome everyone, this is Type V3 and let's blast our way through this bubbly review of SH Figuarts Sailor Mercury, otherwise known as Amy, everyone's favorite blue-haired, brainy soldier of wisdom. At its core, this is essentially SH Figuarts Sailor Moon, painted blue and given a new head sculpt. With that in mind, Sailor Mercury carries all the pros and cons of the original figure. Pearlescent and metallic finishes cover the accurately sculpted body from head to toe, but problem areas such as the odd-looking inner elbows exist too. Now, due to the nature of the original character design, Mercury is the only Sailor Scout to be made up entirely of one color, and you could argue that makes her a little bland, though I suppose that's more personal opinion rather than technical fault with this toy. Obviously, the only unique feature of this SH Figuart is the head sculpt, and Bandai nailed the look of Sailor Mercury. However, I don't think it resembles any specific version of her, it's more of an amalgamation of Amy's looks throughout the years of fiction. Also, I think the base of the hair could have used some subtle shading. As for different expressions, you get a total of four. Apart from her standard face, you get a smiling one, an angry face, and a shouting face. Thankfully, none of them stare off in any direction. Sailor Mercury lives up to these standards of the SH Figure Arts line and is very poseable pretty much anywhere. I mean, she does have the pull-down hips with the swivel and joints everywhere. I mean, they are single joints, so they're, ba they're basically everything you've seen on Sailor Moon. The only limitation she has is that because of the way her hair is molded, she can't look upwards as much as, uh, as I'd like, which is a small little complaint. One difference between... Mercury and Sailor Moon, though, is on Serena's hands here. The hand swaps were done with a straight peg, which came off easily, and uh, they were fairly secure, but sometimes they would fall off because they were just straight. On Sailor Mercury, they've actually gone back and put in ball joints, little ball joints. Now, I was afraid at their size that uh, they were going to break easy, but to be honest, the connection to the hand isn't actually that secure, so it's not like there's going to be too much stress going through there. Um, uh, that, that said, it doesn't pop off, it's, I just mean like it's easy to, to take it off if you want it, so, there you go, it's your standard SH figure art stuff, super poseable, now of course limitations of single joints in the elbows and knees are a given, but overall I'm fairly pleased with how this one turned out. Let's talk hands, because Amy comes with 11 of them. Open palms and fists are a given inclusion. Then there's the two pairs meant for replicating the beginning and ending stages of her signature bubble blast attack. The unfortunate bit here is that she comes with no bubble effect parts to create a proper display. The last trio of hands are all meant to be used with Sailor Mercury's only real accessory, the supercomputer. It comes in both open and closed forms, and while simple, the details are nice for its small size. My only complaint is that there's no image on the display screen. Of course, what's the supercomputer without the Mercury goggles? So that's included too in the form of a second fringe piece. Interestingly, these have been molded out of a thicker, rubbery plastic which results in a lens that's not truly transparent. From certain angles, the eyes can appear distorted or magnified. Finally, much like the previous Sailor Scout, Mercury gets her own customized display base. With a high precedent set by SH Figuarts Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury finds itself being a great follow-up release. Her appearance is beautiful, the build quality is solid, and bar a missing effect part or two, she comes with all the accessories you would want. Objectively, Serena is still slightly better overall and the figure to buy if you could only get one, but that doesn't make Amy any less enjoyable, especially if she's your favorite Sailor Scout, because at the end of the day, this is an exceptional toy through and through. That said, there's really only two types of people this SH figure art is meant for. The first are those who are genuine fans of the character, while the second type are much more like myself. Those with OCD completionist tendencies who feel the need to have them all. Honestly, had I an ounce of self-restraint, I probably would have skipped this release since Sailor Mercury was always my least favorite Sailor Scout. Anyways, this has been Type V3. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this review. But now that we're done dowsing in water, let's turn up the heat and engulf ourselves in the fiery flames of passion.